welcome back everyone so we have already learned about uh, lists and how to uh, create list how to add and remove data from list now there are some other uh, functionalities which we need to perform when we have a list as our data structure so in this video we'll see how those functionality we can achieve using different methods so let's get started So uh, today we'll be seeing uh, different methods which are inbuilt in Python for list specifically for list. Uh, those are uh, count method, sort method, sorting function, clear, split, and join method. So let's go one by one for each of them. Uh, let's start with count method. So uh, name only suggests that what method will be performing, right? So let's say uh, what count method do is it just counts the number of item. If see if a specific item is repeating again and again. And we want to calc we want to estimate we want to calculate that how many time this item is appearing in that list so we go for count method so uh, let's say i have a porosity for different reservoirs average porosity for different reservoirs i have already um, uh, built a list now see you can see here that a point two is repeating uh, how many times so let's if i want to go and check by using a code what i'll do is so this is a very simple syntax here that you, you just write list name first then dot count and, and in the parenthesis of count you just write value or character you want to count so this makes me my list name is 5 5 is my list name dot count method you go for and in the parenthesis of count method you just write the value you want to count so this time I want to count 0.2 so this gives me that 0.2 is 3 times now uh, now let's go for counting point 0.35 let's say so phi dot count point 0.35 so it is it is telling me that point 0.35 is only a one it is only one time now now let's go if i want to check point 0.30 i'll just do point 0.30 so it is a two times because I have written here 0 0.30 as well and here I have just written 0 0.3 so basically both uh, more or less they are same 0 0.3 so it is telling me that uh, this is um, 0 0.32 0 0.30 is repeating two times in a list 5 great now this we, we have seen that how numerical values it is counting now let's see if we have a list of uh, which contains both types let's say string is also there numerical values is also there so now this time I what I want to count is uh, alpha dot count I want to count for let's say how many times B is repeating okay I have misspelled the count here great so it is showing me that uh, B is coming three times so first one second one and third one so uh, it is giving me correct it is giving me correct answers if i go for now 65 i'll just write 65 and it will give me answer 1 so this is how a count method works now let's see uh, if i want to sort my list in ascending order uh, or in any order we can do for uh, for example if i say i want to sort this list all right from smaller values to higher values this is just a random value this is just written in a random manner so what i'll do is i'll copy this i have a list this right now what i want to do is and how do you sort the same syntax is very much same you go for phi and you just write the name of your method dot sort and inside the parenthesis you now uh, not need to write anything because it will it is automatically understanding what i'm instructing python to do is just sort my list with name phi so if i implies this if i execute this cell now if now it, it is it is not giving me any results i have to print phi to check if it has been sorted or not so now I check if now the my phi has been changed to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So it is going on increasing order, starting from very less value and going to the higher values. It can also now this we have seen uh, it is uh, sorting the numerical values that is float values basically. Now let's see if this uh, it is, if this is capable of sorting the alphabets as well. So I'll sort this value alpha. So I'll I'll, I'll just store. I'll just copy this again and 
I have this value now I want to what I do is alpha dot sort yes this is what I want to point it out that whenever you want to sort it will sort uh, let's see because now 65 and strings are there there is no comparison between a numerical value and a string right in in the case of uh, what we said that in the case of uh, logical operators also it was not applicable to compare two values which is uh, one is a string and the other is numerical Numer in numerical it can be anything integer or float so I'll have to remove this 65 in order to sort according to alphabets now if I go for this and now if I if I print my alpha to see if it has been sorted or not now you can see it has been sorted in alphabetical order so a a b b b c and then f and then o so this is how a sort uh, method works now there's another method called uh, not a method it is a function sorting function it also it also does the sorting but what is happening here in, in the sort method till now whatever we have seen in sort method it is changing the original list right uh, we are printing alpha again and we can see that the original list has been changed to a sorted list which has been sorted but the sorting function what it does is it will give you sorted list just for a single time when you have applied that function on a list but the original original list will not get changed for example for example uh, i make a list let's say n u m okay i have one five 89 57 101 20 and 37 so these are my random values in, in no specific order i have executed this cell now if i do if i go for sorted function how you write sorted function is you just write sorted and then you write the name of list you want to uh, sort so my name of list now is num now if i execute this cell you can see it is giving me great results that the list has been sorted 1 5 20 in specific order it is increasing from uh, less values to higher values but now if i go and print my original uh, list again now you can see my original list is uh, as it is my original list has not been changed great so this is what i wanted to uh, make you see that uh, there is a difference between sort method and sorting function okay now now let's uh, learn about clear method what clear method does is as the name suggests that it will clear your, all the elements of your list and make a uh, list empty now uh, now i have this list right num what i want to do is i just want to uh, uh, I, would ju I just want to make it an empty list so what i'll do is i'll apply clear method num dot clear and as it is you just run this and now now if you print your num your num has been changed to an empty list there are no elements you can see it is a list but it is an empty list null nothing is there inside similarly we have a copy method which do uh, which definitely creates a copy so let's say i have a list a b c with one two and let's say uh, python and let's say i include my name as well the branch great now if i want to create a copy of this list what i can do is i'll just simply let's say abc new i'll this is my variable name and store in this variable i'll do abc dot copy okay up now when i print abc new you can see my abc new will be as it is as well as the case of um, abc okay i misspelled the python here no worries just ignore the spelling mistakes now we go for split method now split method we have already seen we have uh, we have used the split method numerous times in previous videos uh, especially especially what uh, specifically in the split uh, in the input function right so what split method was actually doing is uh, let me give you an example let's say I want to ask my input uh, I, I want to ask my user uh, his first name and last name okay so I'll store those in variable first and last and I ask him that please 
enter your first name and last name and i because it is it will end it will giving me two values what i will do is i will just use split here and uh, i have i'm not giving any input inside split it means uh, it will separate the both of the uh, inputs by a space space which is by default okay now if i run this it is asking me so my first name is divyansh and after space i write if my second name sethi now now the record has been ended right now if i go and print my first name let's say print first and then i also want to print last so it is giving me a good result with whatever it is expected so divyan sethi now if i change this okay i do in separate code now i'll say ask the same question here i'll ask the same question here but this time i store my uh, name in only single variable instead of uh, uh, two variables so i am asking two questions but i i am storing them in a single variable and by using split method now if i go and if i input my name divyansh sethi and now if i print this full name print this full name now you see this is giving me my both the names divyansh and sethi but this is giving me inside a list so this is what a split function is actually doing so this is how uh, a split function is uh, storing the values it stores the values the store multiple values if you are if you are asking multiple questions and uh, but you are giving a single variable only so it will store them all in a list great now for example uh, my full name I, i'll change my full name and my full name let's say this time is divyansh lokesh city i'll add my middle name right and now this time if i print my full name my list will have you can see my list will have three items here so so how many items you write it will get them into a list so this is what a split function basically does now what we can do is uh, now let's see the join method it is actually opposite of string, uh, split method what it does is it converts this list to a string means it is opposite of split split was creating a list and join method will uh, unpack those list into strings for example and uh, uh, i want to unpack this my full name into a uh, different different strings so how i go for this was it's uh, it is uh, it is its syntax is slightly different from others i'll just write here parenthesis dot i'll write join so this is how and inside the parenthesis of join i write the my, name of my list so my name of list right now is full name right and here in the in these parentheses what you write is inside this um, quotes you write uh, the character which you uh, with which you want to separate the our elements of the string so if i give if i give space here and now if i execute this cell by pressing shift and enter so you can see divyansh space lokesh space city now if i uh, instead of space let's say i want to input them uh, differentiate them with the help of comma so it will divyansh comma lokesh comma city so this is how a join method works so uh, this is everything i wanted to tell you in this video and uh, thank you for joining i'll see you in the next lecture thank you